What's up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick um, and easy, I wouldn't say tutorial, but just a video. Um, quick story, once upon a time, I made this Stranger Things template inside of After Effects. It's the entire Stranger Things intro inside of After Effects. I just went frame by frame and recreated it. Now, is it a perfect recreation? No, but it's pretty close. I've seen a lot online, and I just took the time to really make this one. I think it plays back at like 60 frames a second, and when I made this back in like... 2019 or when basically when stranger things came out. So I just wanted to open up the project file. This still gets downloaded. Um, and if you would like uh, access to this project file, just comment template down below and I'll send it to you. It's completely for free. It's on the website. So go to www.filmit.io linked in the description and the pinned comment and you can download it for free um, and check out all the other products that we have there um, that support the channel and the product library. So pretty cool stuff. Real quick, you can see there's all these credits inside of here and it's very easy to change. I want to say that um, I have made a full controller for this. Yep, here it is. There's a full controller for this thing. So like if we were to change like the main color to like green or blue, the entire template changes. So like the, <laughs> the final comp is now blue, which is fine. Um, but let's just leave it red for now. There's also all of the text and the stuff. Now the fonts in here, um, uh, you can kind of Google what the fonts are that Stranger Thing officially uses, but I just picked like something that looks like the show. And at the very end, you have this very final sparking intro, and all of this is manipulatable. You can change all of this. So people have downloaded this to do Happy Halloween, stuff like that, um, which actually fits kind of perfectly, which is kind of fun. Um, and finally, if we go to one of our plugins, let's go to uh, TextPilot, which is a fun plugin that we created. And with TextPilot open, it's really fun. The way this plugin works is like I did, I scan the project and it shows me every single thing inside the project. Now, why would you do this? You could say, Max, I just want to change my text. I go line by line and change everything. No problem. But what if we wanted to change all of this copy to Spanish or brand new lines all at once and not have to go line by line. Pretty easy. What I like to do is take all my copy that I've scanned and I just copy all of it. Great. So here it is. So what, here's the original text I copy and pasted um, from uh, TextPilot. And then I took it into ChatGPT. I wrote a very simple prompt just to give an example. Right here, change this to new copy, same length, but write a new funny story. The letters in the beginning leave the same. That's the letters in the template that kind of fade across the screen. Do not change formatting at all. Do exactly what I did. So I gave it this, and it spat out this. And you could say, change it to Spanish, do anything. But um, here we go. Yeah, and it changed it to this, typed at 3 a.m., blah, 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 blah. What we want is to copy this. Back into text pilot. I don't want to change the opening letters, so we're just going to paste this here. And then uh, if we hover over the last line, which is here, when I hit uh, apply bulk changes, it should change everything. And there it is. As you can see, we scroll back, everything has been changed. If I hit undo, just to give you a thing, undo. This is uh, the Pyro Rainer Sparky, apply bulk changes and everything has been changed. So every single line of text inside of this project has been changed all at once, which is a really cool tool uh, we love called TextPilot that I, um, my team and I created. And we're constantly updating it and trying to add new features. And with your support, we can do that. This is the Stranger Things template. It's totally free. Feel free to download it um, and leave a comment. Uh, jump into the Discord. There's a link down below. Let's talk about it. I'd love to help out. And uh, if you download TextPilot, let me know. It's a really fun plugin. We have a couple other plugins that are really cool, like GridMaker, which is really popular. Um, GridMaker is really dope. If you like the sound of it, just go check it out. We have it on the store. It divides your footage up evenly. It's really cool. Um, otherwise, as always, guys, I'm Max. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for being a part of the channel. If you're new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. And right before we finish up, I'll plug it one more time. Uh, feel free to check out filmit.io. It is a resource for creatives made by creatives, a.k.a. me and a small team of developers.